What's up everybody, it's Chuflaka back at again with another Madden YouTube video. Today, I was going to do the Black History Month promo players, but all of them are kind of glitch right now. If you do those challenges, you do get kicked out of the game. So instead, we are going to do a 96 overall James Robinson. We do have him powered up to a 97. You can see his stats right here. This will be on next gen, so we'll see him in a pure power back form right here. But 97 speed, 98 excel, which is actually really good. His change of direction would normally be at a 96, but I am in sprinter, which makes it go down too. His catching's good. His carrying is amazing. Trucking and break tackle are both very good. He's a shorter running back, so let's see how good he actually plays on the field. Let's get right into the game. We do have one ability on him. We are going to be using bruiser in this gameplay. Let's get right into it. just get a stop in our first game and it looks like he is going to be punting it away it really does suck when you do gameplays and you're not getting the ball first but at the end of the day we did get a stop usually people don't punt they'll just ruin time right there we're gonna actually just probably just try to go down here so i don't even know what that glitch was right there but we just want to tote the ball away right here kind of excited for it like i said running gameplays are a little hard because some people are just very good against the run but james robinson as you guys can see right there he is a very short running back he looks very small but he is a power back so don't take the height for advantage there as it looks like we're gonna get our first one vote one v one we break that and then we get killed by ray lewis right there not bad at all i don't know if he's gonna quit after one play and he's going to quit after one run. I have no clue what that is. Let's head into a second game and hopefully we can keep it going. It looks like in the second game we will be getting the ball first here. But like you guys know, I am going to be doing two other gameplays today. We're going to do the Fritz Pollard running back right after this one. And then I want to do Doug Williams as well. One of them will be on current gen and one of them will be on next gen. Only because I can't do them both on one account because you only get one. So that's why we're going to do that. But anyways, let's head into the James Robinson gameplay. I really, really want to see if we can get him going. Like I said, we only had one run entirely that whole last game he literally quit off of a 10 to i think it was like a 15 yard run with james robinson he broke one tackle got hit sticked by ray lewis and then he just quit right out of it but right here this guy is going crazy with his substitutions at 11 a.m in the morning i have no clue what this guy is doing finally calls a play let's see if we can get anything going now james robinson on a stretch first play it looks like he might be d-line usering unless he didn't mean to click that and we were just kind of stuck there on a block there was nowhere to go I have no clue. I think that was Strahan that got me right there. But let's head over to maybe a trap call. This is the only trap in the playbook. That's why I go to concept to find it. But we do have a trap right here. Let's see if we can get it. I feel like James Robinson can be a very good running back, though, because of that height. Not only power back, but I don't know about current gen, but next gen power back, especially with the height like that, he could be very, very good. Kind of like a budget Derrick Henry, I guess you could say. But we're going to trap up the middle. It looks like he's going to instant shed, actually, with that Fletcher Cox. I know there has been a glitch lately with user rushing where you can get through almost every single time, even with double teams. But hopefully that doesn't affect us this game. We're going to run a Texas route now with James Robb. We don't have any receiving abilities on him, but he does have an 80 catching. Not the worst at all. Can easily get it done. Let's see if we get into sack. It looks like he's going to actually be using somebody else here. And we're going to actually just throw it out of a sack right there. We got insta sacked by three people. That was a little tough, but we're going to go to the same play. I don't think we're going to get insta sacked again with a three-man blitz. That's, oh, that's a little fluke. You don't really see that ever. It shouldn't happen ever, but let's hope it doesn't happen again. Let's see if we can get it. He's running man. We know he's running man. We're going to get wide open over here, and it looks like we're going to have our tight end wide open over top. Sam Mills way too short to play that. I knew I could throw that, throw that every time. So I don't know why he started on the D-line when I was running the ball, but right here we're going to try that trap again. Hopefully he's using a linebacker because some people don't know how to use her against a trap. But if he is using the D-line, I guess he could blow it up fairly easy as well. Let's see. We're going to run it up the middle. It looks like he's going to break that tackle as well. James Robinson, is he going to beat Sam Mills? He is. And we're going to get a huge touchdown with James Rob. Broke a tackle and took it to the outside. Easy. I don't know. Is that 40, 50-yard run? Something big like that. I will take that every day. He had the kind of that excel. We all know he has that 98 excel. I think that excel really took him to the touchdown right there. Kind of making that speed right by Sam Mills, who was about to catch him. And then the excel turned on. Easy, easy, big touchdown. 
That was Loki a fire play. I didn't even expect him to score there because I, I look at him as a power back, but that Excel is surprisingly very good. But anyways, let's head into the next possession of offense. So we do get an interception right there, and he's going to hopefully chase us down. We're going to just go out of bounds here. I'm thinking he's going to quit. Usually when you run out of bounds like that, people just quit automatically. But it looks like he's going to stay in the game. We are on the 37. We do want to just keep running the ball. Look at that pick right there. He tried to throw in the seam. Isaiah Simmons, way too tall. Let's hit him with the play we just scored on the trap right up the middle. Looks like we're going to try to cut over here. A nice little six-yard run. Not too bad at all. Actually, it was a four-yard run. I swear that was a lot bigger. But let's go over to the I-4. Maybe hit him on a toss here. I know the toss is not the best in next gen because the Excel is a little slow. But at 98 Excel, maybe if we can get the Jets turned on, he could take off to the edge right there. Let's see if we can get the outside here, though. No, it looks like Tyron Matthews actually going to break my 99 run blocking left guard. And he's going to, obviously, he's just going to make the tackle right there. That's a little, that's the one thing that gets very, very frustrating sometimes is watching a DB just destroy my 90. Oh, that was actually my fullback, but still, still, you know, I mean, it was just like one little arm push and he's just right there. But let's see if we don't get insta-sacked here. Hopefully we can get a big play right here. The only time I really get killed on this play is if I do get insta-sacked. It looks like he's going to be D-line using though. We're going to throw a low pass to James Robb and he's going to have another big play for around 20-ish yards, I think. Not too bad at all. Let's try running the sweep again. I think if we can get that block with the sweep, we could probably take off right there. That was an 18-yard catch, so not bad at all. We're going to try to sweep right here. It looks like if that Ray Lewis can get caught on the line, this could be a huge play. Let's see if we can get the block, though. No, Ray Lewis didn't get caught. He makes the play. This is getting a little tough on the running game. Let's flip this trap and try to run up the middle. Like you guys can see right here, we're going to run the ball two times every every single set of downs. And then I want to try to do something else. Maybe the toss isn't what we want to run here. We could probably go to the stretch. But right here, we're going to run the trap. I really do like the trap. I think it's a glitchy play if you can't stop it. But it looks like he's going to shift Fletcher Cox over. And I get completely boomsticked right there by Jamal Adams. That was a pretty big hit. But let's go over to the gun right here. Go to bunch offset. We're going to do this double post right here. Basically, James Robinson's going to run this little in route right here. But it's a lot of routes underneath, so they can get tricky, and he can get he can get wide open. It looks like he's going to be wide open underneath. Can he take this for a touchdown? He breaks Brian Dawkins' hit stick, but then he gets tackled by the second guy right behind him. We're going to actually go to I-form here. We're going to try to punch us in, make it a two-touchdown game and over 100 yards. I'm pretty sure he has over 100 yards already. He has 60 on the ground, like 66 on the ground, and like I think 40 right now on, um, on the passing game. But it looks like Lawrence Taylor is going to shed... Uh, Darren Waller right there. He has 59 on the ground now. We did lose pretty good yards right there. But let's try a, a lead dive right up the middle. I know these are kind of fluke. It's going to be like basically if we could just get that rip. I don't know if he's running inside stuffer. Hopefully not. Let's see if he's running inside stuffer. El Toro, Reach Elite Swim Club. It does not look like inside stuff, so this should be okay. We're running it, and our dude, his Fletcher Cox is basically making plays. He's the one using Fletcher Cox, so that is props. But we're going to try another stretch here. I think running the ball here, playing it smart, although we would like this touchdown as he has two of them, two of them on fire right now. We do need to get this to the outside and score here. We're going to try to punch it in, and we are going to get a touchdown with James Robb, our second one of the day. Let's hope to get another third one and top it off for this gameplay. Let's head into the next possession of offense. So it looks like we are going to get a big sack right there and get a forced fumble. And he is going to quit the game right there to end off this gameplay. This was a quicker one, but I showed you guys he is a beast, and I think he can be very good on a team. Current gen, I think he'd be very good just because that height as well, that Excel is crazy. But like I said, we do have two other gameplays coming today, a Fritz Pollard and also Doug Williams, the quarterback. I'm excited to get those. Those are glitched right now, so they might take a little bit to get out. I don't know when they're going to be non-glitched. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure to smash the like button. I'll see you guys in the next two gameplays.